there. This is Reliving Thunderball and a letter from Steve. Hey, how are you? I wanted to make a video about my dad and his role in the movie Thunderball and I did that about a year and a half ago and that video did really well but for some reason it fell off the charts and disappeared from public view and now it just stays at a certain amount of views and it really more people should be able to see this kind of behind the scenes footage. So what I have today though is I have my first bit of fan mail that I have received here at AdShot and I wanted to go over that, open it up and just see what we have. I kind of have a good idea of what's in here and uh, this is my first mail sent uh, to me of course and it is absolutely has to do with James Bond Thunderball and so what we have here is our overview and we're going to go ahead and open this up right now so for friends of the ad shot channel this is uh, from a gentleman named Steve and that's all we'll say about that and Steve just happened to call in to our show our live stream somehow he got through the the blockade and uh, got right through and uh, we spoke live for just a moment and he let me know that he had something that he wanted to send me. So let's kind of get this open without injuring ourselves and we'll definitely take a look. It's exciting to, to see. Definitely says, do not bend. So I guess we could assume, well, I can just tell you, he did set, say he was gonna send me some pictures. So we will, we'll just see. We'll just see what's in here. And so after I have the first layer of tape off, that did nothing for me. So I will go ahead and slice into the side here. I really don't want to damage any of the contents, of course. So if I can, there we go. Okay. All right. And so the PO box is new and of course, all fans, all fan mail. Wow, okay. Uh, so here we go. Ian Bullock, ad shot. Um, please do not bend. Okay. It looks like he has a package here for my uncle. So on the other side here, it, it, it has my uncle's name on it. So this package is for my uncle, and I'll get into that later. But what we have here, it looks like something for me. So that's really nice. Uh, let's go go ahead and take a look. Oh, very cool. Okay, wow. Ooh, stamps. Okay, looks like he has some money for stamps. And again, we'll go over that because we have a package over here for my uncle. So, what do we have here? Let's take a look. Uh, maybe I'll read this... Uh, letter here. It says, hello Ian. Hope all is well. I started to do a composite still of images of some of your uncle Robert's Bond roles in Thunderball. It got too crowded with no space, so it spilled over into two different stills. Guard at Palmera Gate, Skeet Operator, and Machine Gunner on the Cocoon. Could you please forward the enclosed separate envelope to your uncle containing personal letter of appreciation read this first and determine if I should change anything two stills to be signed for Steve they do not have to be dedicated just Robert Bullock is fine two stills for my friend Jean-Michel two stills for your uncle to keep stamped return envelope from Robert to me and uh, again for some that don't know my uncle Robert did have some roles in the movie Thunderball as well as my father uh, and these gentlemen very much want to send my uncle some photographs that he can take for his collection and as well um, something that he could possibly sign for them uh, get an autograph so we'll see if we can make that happen 
I've enclosed the postage stamps, which should be sufficient for postage to send to your uncle. Not sure where he lives. I have also enclosed in this bag two copies for you to keep. At some point, I, will, I would also like to assemble just one tribute photo of some of your father's Thunderball rolls for you to sign, if you agree. I have similarly signed photos of other celebrity children. For example, Sarah Karloff just wrote, My father, Boris Karloff, then signed her name. Finally, I enclosed a modest initial contribution donation for your uncle's efforts and interest. I'm sure Jean-Michel will send something as well, and I will pass on to you. Thanks again tremendously for your assistance as a Bond fan. This has been a great honor to be in contact. Kind regards, Steve. Very cool. So, that's very cool. All right, so uh, let's take a look here. It's just really nice. Okay, so this is what Steve was talking about here. And what we're looking at is the gate to Palmera in the movie Thunderball. So these are sort of stills. Looks like right off the reel because of, you know, the widescreen aspect here. And my uncle is basically if I get a little closer it might help it, and the, the image is a little blurry um, just for being you know a print and, a, and expanded likely uh, but he is the gentleman on the left side of the white car uh, right there as the car is going in he's on the left side holding the machine gun my uncle is also the skeet operator right here as you see on the grounds of Palmera he's handling the, the skeet and Largo will be firing the shots. So that's another awesome scene. So right there. Uh, this poster means a lot to me actually because I did have this poster, this particular one. And again, the, the quality might not be there. I could probably go to a different cam and it might come out a little clearer. Maybe not. We have a few different options here. But this poster, it's the look up, look down, look out. And it has the jetpack scene, the underwater scene, and just bond with the ladies, and fantastic. Uh, I unfortunately lost that poster, which was my father's, in a fire. So that was a hard loss. That particular poster he had mounted, uh, which I was able to have up here, was numbered, it was uh, probably it was one out of I believe 330 ever put out as the original movie poster that you would have seen uh, outside of some really big venues and again they only made about 330 of that particular one and it was numbered in the bottom right corner uh, so really sad to have lost that but um, definitely was just a treasure and just a wonderful memory memory at least so every time I now see this of course I get that feeling so just wish I had it. Wish I had that, that original still. And looks like we have, ooh, some awesome scenes. These are amazing. So what we're looking at is obviously the rear end. I think this is right after the split. And the, uh, the other part of the Disco Volante has separated. And here's the rear end. And it appears, if I'm looking closely... It may be likely. I'm not 100% sure. Sometimes you never know who some of these people might be. It looks like my dad might be one of these two guys. I know that he was manning the machine gun. and But for some reason, this person here looks like my father. And again, I'm sorry, the, the image quality is not the best, but uh, very excellent. I should try and get these images posted somewhere, but... Just very cool. There's there's two guys here manning the machine gun, but I'm just not sure that's my uncle and my father. Looks like this gentleman has quite a bit of hair. Uh, but this gentleman on the left side absolutely looks like my uncle. And I'm actually thinking this is my father down below. He has dark black hair, and that is looking like him right there. So very awesome. Now, if I look at this image here, this is sort of a new one for me, this black and white image. Um, it is likely my dad is in this image and my uncle 
but there's a lot of backlit. Uh, there's a backlit thing, so all the facial features in the back of people's heads are all blacked out, sort of. So it's really hard to make out. I could take a guess that this might be my dad sitting here right next to the machine gun. I do have film footage of him sitting right there, um, and that could be the case. And what's really interesting is if you look here, this could be my uncle standing here. There is like a white reflection in something that he's holding in his hand. And, you know, obviously this is not going to get any clearer for you guys, but what I'm seeing is that that could be the moment where they were filming and uh, maybe maybe this scene right here is where my uncle was filming my father right next to the machine gun, his brother. So how cool. And then again, this awesome image of Sean Connery blasting up out of there. And you got all sorts of stuff with the disco volante, some sharks from the pool scenes and everything else. So isn't that wonderful? These are really awesome. I will definitely treasure these. Steve is a huge fan of uh, the channel now. Well, at least I'm a big fan of Steve's. And uh, Steve, again, called in to our live show. And uh, everyone kind of got a kick out of that. I took a phone call on a live stream and... Uh, Steve was really glad to get a hold of me, and I am glad to get a hold of Steve. So we're going to go ahead and try and make my uncle sign these images for Steve. I hope we can get it done. So um, it's very nice that Steve has prepared this package, and we can go ahead and send that over. So right now, I was thinking that we might just take a very quick look at what I have here. This is obviously the... A Lego if you can see this is the Lego James Bond Aston Martin DB5 I believe this set is now currently retired or just about to be and very hard to come by um, that you can still get your hands on it but this was very special for me to build and this car is what I was building when Steve called into the channel so it was just so perfect everything was just right so and again my first live stream ever as if technical difficulties weren't abound uh, having my phone ring right next to me when I swear I had everything silenced Steve got through and it was the right thing and he, and he touched base with me and now we're able to hopefully get this handled and uh, they can get the autographs that they want uh, these two gentlemen are writing a book about James Bond and uh, all the movies and the people involved in the movies and uh, they I think collectively or at least one of them boasts one of the largest uh, collections of autographs from people starring in James Bond movies or in James Bond movies so very neat um, very glad that I was able to get this today this is a letter that is for my uncle Robert from Steve and I think it's, I just started reading a little bit and I thought it was right to, to read this. So I think it's just really, really nice. We're talking about uh, these, these people are really big James Bond fans and it's touched them in their life. And so let me just read this. This is from Steve to my uncle Robert. So here we go. Dear Mr. Bullock, for more than 65 years, I've enjoyed your many contributions to the James Bond film Thunderball. You can guess that you and I are probably very close in age. I am 72. I saw Thunderball at the movies when it opened in 1965. I have seen it countless times since, and it still remains my favorite Bond film. So you can imagine how excited I was when I discovered the two Thunderball featurettes posted on YouTube by your nephew last year. For a movie fan, these are pure delight to watch and to see how involved you and your brother Ian were in the production of the film in the Bahamas. A few years ago, I met John McLaughlin and Rico Browning, who worked respectively as a stuntman and underwater director on the film. They were also very proud to be associated with the biggest bond of all. As I am sure you are as well. You have many, many admirers and fans world, worldwide who also consider it 
the best in the Bond franchise. I have written articles for various James Bond fan magazines and books. I also have a collection of autographs of many cast and crew involved with the films. I could never adequately express what fun Thunderball has given me for so many decades. I would be very grateful if you could please autograph the enclosed photos for me. They feature three of your prominent scenes. Guard at the gate to the villain's estate, Palmera. Skeet shooter at Palmera. One of the machine gunners on the cocoon of the hydrofoil disco volante. Please be assured that these are strictly for a private collection as fans and will not be reproduced anywhere or sold. I have enclosed a stamped addressed envelope to return four photos. The two photos in this bag are for you with my compliments. I have a huge collection of photos, press releases, articles, posters, etc. on Thunderball. If, if there is ever anything you would like to see, I would really enjoy the opportunity to talk to you more about your work on the film if you ever wish. I will list my phone and email below. Thank you very much for your kind consideration of the autographs. Best wishes for good health. Steve. Pretty cool. So Steve has included uh, the same pictures that he included for me. And so everyone gets a copy and we'll just see how this progresses. So hang tight, maybe we'll follow up on this and see where it goes. So if I have a moment, I was just going to take a look at what this is. This is an amazing coffee table book here and this is just sort of a, a beautiful cover and this is James Bond 50 years of movie posters so it is a huge book and I got this for Christmas a while back and I just wanted to take a look and just just see what's going on here so that was obviously that was the front there and then the back or at least this could be the front or the back it could be flipped either way depending your preference uh, but there we go we have Roger Moore on one side and Sean Connery on the other the debate will always continue will it not okay so here we go this is such a nice book I've only opened it probably one time and it, it's so special this book and it has so much really cool memorabilia here you see this sleeve and just the imagery there that's just good job Roger that <laughs> such a cool picture look at this agent 007 all right so not to upset those too much those are just treasures those have come out probably one time and that means I've only seen that once and so it's a treasure to see that again I'm sharing that with you so we're not going to go through this entire book but obviously this is 50 years of James Bond it was put out by DK I love their books everything they put out is just so informative so amazing obviously a little bit of risque in here we are talking about a secret agent here so we can look through this book and while that's happening I can just sort of be up here and I'm not like I said I'm not gonna go through every page but there's just a few a few great things that I just want to get let you get a feel for what we're looking at and some of the earliest posters here as you can see that they can't even I mean this is an actual photograph with the folds right here from the actual movie poster that this was and the bond movie poster from Thunderball that I lost had those exact same folds in the poster. That is exactly how they distributed the posters then, uh, folded the, them up and delivered them to the movie theaters uh, for display. It just was how, that, that's how it was. So just fantastic. Obviously we're going way back here. Lots of things to take in. And uh, here we go. I mean, you just we're just sort of jumping through the movies. 
look at some of this just intensity the secret agent chop it's nice I'm thrilled to have this book look at this here this uh, is this Japanese I'm just straight off asking I think it is but I just love how dolled up he is there I mean that is just before Photoshop even but wow they make make up Tim very well there's Goldfinger and that is where the Aston Martin debuted the Aston Martin DB5 and then to return in Thunderball Wow, some of these images are so funny like they didn't even have a good photograph to use it's mostly <laughs> a lot of artwork fantastic though and so what I'm looking for and I found it before and I think it's just really neat to look through this obviously it's gonna go through 50 years so here we are with a favorite of mine of course Timothy Dalton how could you not love Timothy and uh, Roger Moore of course uh, just all these memories I mean we all grew up with with Bond or at least I surely did I definitely my dad was definitely a Roger Moore fan but of course a Sean Connery fan 100% being a double for Connery meeting him in person getting his autograph he just really thought Connery was a class act and uh, he was and we're sorry to uh, have them both not with us anymore it's absolutely uh, but certain uh, but as I'm flipping back here I probably should go a little further because I want to pass Roger Moore and get back to Connery and then what what we're going for is we're gonna find the Thunderball imagery and oh, I think we're getting more up oh, look at that I love it Lazenby on the skis it's just the best sorry <laughs> get stuck on some of these because you know I'm a fan of all the bonds I really am and uh, I'll even pop on I'll, uh, I'll pop on some Lazenby every now and then so you can see we're starting to get a little closer with this uh, graphic artwork here it's starting to look very similar to the Thunderball that we are looking for and again all these foreign releases here looking like uh, oh this is this might I couldn't I couldn't guess I'm not even gonna guess there <laughs> it is Japanese though yeah so great he's huge over there secret agent huge everywhere am I am I right yeah this just makes me happy when I turn through a book like this and so we're getting closer because over here you're starting to see the images from Thunderball and check this one out just with the off-color imagery and this is pretty much we're getting there this is the three the three images making the poster and so I'm, I'm in the right place so we will kind of go through here and see if we can find it again I would just be blown away if I could get some of this these posters these are beautiful I'm sure prints could be found I love the the Japanese posters and here we are okay and so I knew that there are, there are different versions of this you can see the three different images that way but this is the one we're looking at this is basically the one that I did used to have in my possession and oh my gosh guys that's it I'm looking so closely here and wow that blows me away um, so this one is numbered 65 out of 372 and that could have been the number I wasn't sure what it was 330 350 I think that's it and literally you're looking down at it and uh, this one doesn't have the fold lines at all or possibly was never folded but uh, fantastic 65 out of 372 it says that in the, the corner here in the tiniest of writing and uh, basically I don't remember which number mine was it could have been in the 30 30s or in the 300s it was definitely one of 372 I'm starting to think now and uh, just really special the green line that goes around the outside here um, I'll just always remember when I was able to look up at this in my room or my house wherever I was living at the time it, it was able to travel with me at some point uh, I was able to take possession of this uh, while my dad was 
uh, still with us. I think he allowed me to uh, take over the Bond poster at some point. And uh, yeah, very special. So brings back a lot of memories. Obviously looking at this picture is powerful for me. I used to stare up at this and just, you know, not even knowing what I'm looking at. I was like, look at, what are these ladies doing? What? It, wait, she's unzipping his his uh, speedo suit. Uh, that's very nice of her. Um, yeah. So I mean, from the youngest of ages, looking at the suit here, he's in the wetsuit, of course, and then the uh, muscles just protruding through the suit. If you know the detail of this image, and of course the jetpack, the scene that is just so fast in the beginning, and it's it happens so quickly and it's done. Uh, they didn't want to show too much of that because the uh, special effects at the time were not uh, quite there. Uh, but it still worked and it was awesome. The jetpacks were real, no doubt. And uh, fantastic. There it is. This is the one. So a beautiful poster. Um, there are likely more versions. So if we turn over, again, look up, look down, look out. Just that. This was the biggest bond of them all, and surely this this one means the most to me. And I'm just very happy that um, I'm connected to this in some way. At least I feel I feel that a little bit, and uh, it's very special to me. So maybe that's what it is. It's just really special. Something I hold dear and uh, makes me happy and proud. So cool. Well, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me on this one. Uh, I know we were just turning pages and we went over my first piece of mail ever to AdShot. And I really thank you for uh, hanging out and enjoying a little more Thunderball with me. Um, I know I probably could make a lot more videos on this topic, but um, sometimes I just uh, I, I just hold certain things very close, and uh, and very dear. And sometimes you just can't. bring yourself to make more movies on something that is uh, very emotional so that's probably why I haven't made very many movies about this topic but if you can go see that behind the scenes footage uh, tell others about it if there's anything to share with people because I know people don't share on the internet anymore uh, it's kind of a lost art form. Uh, we're just so used to hitting the heart button and moving on. But if you're going to share one thing, I would share the Thunderball video, the unofficial behind the scenes footage, eight millimeter hand crank camera. Uh, this was definitely something uh, that no other person would ever have or no other person would ever, ever be able to see. And my uncle Robert was uh, fortunately there at the right place the right time and was able to capture just memories that touch so many people and what I probably should be doing is making a video about the comments that have come in and I probably should have been prepared right now should I have the comments up the comments have touched me because the footage the behind the scenes footage touches others it reminds them of times that were great times that we will never see again and it brings them back to what times were like then what were they doing at the time when thunderball was in the movie theater and the biggest thing that you wanted to do was to get a seat in there and watch the most amazing biggest bond movie ever to be conceived and this is just when everything exploded with merchandising and everything else so 
absolutely this was a huge push for the motion picture industry and for Bond fans alone and it catapulted uh, this whole franchise into uh, permanent uh, perfection and just it's legendary of course at this point so the franchise is is fantastic so hopefully they keep it going well I have really appreciated the new movies I, I'm a fan of Daniel Craig and I would say that I haven't seen the newest one yet I'll get there um, uh, but really I I'm gonna give everyone their credit they're putting in their hardest effort could you imagine I know what I'm getting at. Can you imagine filling the shoes of Sean Connery or Roger Moore? Any one of these guys, so. That's cool. My dad stepped in and played played Sean Connery, played James Bond as the boat drove off into the into the water and uh, it's just so uh, it's so great to me. It's powerful. A lot of feelings, so uh, a lot of people have been uh, harsh on uh, Daniel Craig and those who will be coming after him. Uh, but I say those are huge shoes to fill and nobody has it easy who's the next Bond. You think they got it good? They have to perform. They have to put in the best effort um, because there's, again, um, you're on a level that is hard to match. It's hard to... It's hard to compare yourselves, of course, to the Bonds of old, but it's also, um, you have to be as good as them, and you have to be the right pick next in line, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, guys, thanks for being with me on this one. This was an emotional ride, and uh, I'm glad I was able to make this, so maybe more videos like this in the future. I'm just working on a new format, and... Uh, this one means a lot. So again, thank you, Steve. You're a fan and a friend of the channel. We appreciate you so much. Thank you for the images you have sent me. And we'll hopefully get my uncle to sign your autographs. And uh, everyone's happy. Okay. Thanks again, guys. Be sure to subscribe to AdShot. And like and comment below. All the best. Bye-bye. Let me know what you think in the comments below. There's more to come. Please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.